The China Open is set for September 25th and will run through October 6th, big WTA 1000 event. And it's kind of hard to believe, right? There's still tennis left to be played here in 2024 with the US Open just getting wrapped up. You kind of wonder, well, what's kind of next? Well, this is indeed what's next. Big tournament here for a lot of players, uh, being that we have a race towards the WTA finals where the top eight will advance. So. With that being said, this video is about the women's entry list. Who is entered to play in this year's China Open? And guys, there's a lot of big names here, so just bear with me as we get through them all. The whole entire top 20 is entered, and we'll get started with the world number one, Iga Shiontek. Remember, Shiontek winning this tournament last year. I know she's coming off a little bit of a less than stellar showing in that U.S. Open quarterfinal against Jessica Pagula, but still, Shiontek, big name, entered into this tournament. Also, right behind her in the rankings, Irina Sabalenka. Sabalenka, a lot of momentum here on the hard courts, winning the Cincinnati Open, winning that U.S. Open. That gives her two major championships on the year. She's also entered into this year's China Open. Coco Gauff, big fan favorite. I know kind of hasn't looking for that big signature stamp on the year here. Hasn't really had the big breakout, big moment like she did the last year, but she won the U.S. Open, but still... This may be an opportunity for Goff to get a big signature win here in 2024. Elena Rabankina will be returning. I know it's been a rough go the last few months. Really, this whole year has been up and down with injuries and health and whatnot. Hopefully, Rabankina is healthy and we can see her back playing at a high level of tennis. Now, speaking of high level of tennis, guys, we just saw this person really burst onto the scene the last few weeks in Jessica Pagula. Pagula wins the Canadian Open, finishes runner-up at Cincinnati, finishes runner-up at the U.S. Open. She's playing just as good as anybody on tour right now. Pagula, another big opportunity here at the China Open. Now, speaking of big opportunities, this person has cashed in time and time and time again here in 2024. That's Jasmine Paolini. It's been the best year she's ever had on tour. Let's see if she can get some momentum here in the later part of 2024. Also, Emma Navarro has been having a very good 2024. Had a great showing here at the U.S. Open. Made it all the way to the semifinals there. Let's see if she builds on it here. She's right in the mix of things here for a WTA final spot there. Uh, at being one of the top eight players in the world. Now, like I said in the introduction, guys, the whole entire top 20 is entered in this tournament. So that gives you a few other big names out there. For example, like Daniel Collins, uh, Quinwin Zhang, who was the Australian Open runner-up and the Olympic gold medals. She's also going to be in this tournament, too, in her home country. And let's not forget about Maria Sakkari, another big name. And that's just to name a few. Again, whole entire top 20 entered. Few other big names, too, guys, to keep an eye out for in this year's China Open. You also have Carolyn Wozniacki. She won this tournament twice, winning it in 2010 and 2018. Victoria Azarenka, great hardcore player, the 2012 champion of this tournament, also entered. Carolyn Garcia won this tournament back in 2017. We've been waiting to see her do something since she's been winning in like those sort of ways back in 2017, but still... Big name with a game to do something. And then Naomi Osaka, and again, I get it, big name, not a good year here after giving birth in 2023. This has been her big comeback year, and it's been less than stellar. Uh, she won this tournament in 2019. She will be an alternate in this year's tournament. So that is your entry list for the 2024 China Open. Again, those dates for the tournament, September 25th, and it will run through October 6th.